Hello, dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is a quick video to give you a brief introduction of how to work with condition groups using Power Automate. And uh, let me give you a brief use case description. A very, very simple one. So it's, I am just using my name and last name as an example. So you get an idea. So here I am. And let's, ha uh, let's say we have a condition one that needs to be fulfilled if the username equals to Ivan. Or if we have a condition two that needs to be fulfilled, so uh, the username equals to Mazala, that's my last name. Or we have the condition, condition three, and this condition three could have the username as my full name, right? So uh, when these conditions are met, then we go in into a yes uh, loop in Power Automate. If it's no, then we go into a no uh, area. So let's have a look how we do it. And um, let me get to my flow. Here I have a very simple flow. It's a manual flow. And then you see here I have this condition area. And uh, in condition, I can uh, select uh, dynamic content, for example, uh, username. Username equals to Ivan, so to my name. Uh, and here I can select another uh, thing. So, for example, I can select uh, to add a group or to add a row. If I add a group, it would look something like this. So um, in this group, I can, uh, let's say I can give or, and I can select username equals to this, to, to my name, or uh, I can select uh, add a row. And for the row, I would specify username equals to my last name. So if I do something like this, right, it would mean that both of these things have to be met and this one too. So maybe we make it a little bit, uh, let's say date equals today, right? For today, we can say today, where is today, date. date and time well, I'm not sure how to get it but let's say we assume that uh, I need to research a little bit date is today right so um, then in this case it means that if the username equals to Ivan or the username equals to Mazala and the date is today then we go into yes loop. Uh, the same uh, we could do here in this use case. So condition this, this or this. Uh, it would mean uh, something, we would build it something like this. Um, or username equals to Ivan. Uh, and username equals oh here it's yeah it's, and and we can add a row uh, it will be a row with or and the same username username equals to some, something like this you see uh, condition group it's basically multiple conditions that you can add as rows here or you can have nested conditions so if something inside uh, like this you could put it uh, into a nested one so the logic here once more to summarize if if this condition is true or this condition is true. This is a complex conditions, meaning both of them have to be satisfied because we have end here. Or this condition is true. 
then we go into a yes and do some action right if this is false then we go into a no and do some actions well i hope it's been not too confusing and uh, now you get an idea how to use condition groups uh, so enjoy happy learning stay healthy have a good day bye bye